Have you ever wondered why God reveals himself as three persons? The question is, why does God reveal himself to us in three persons? I think a simple answer for that is to make room for us in the middle. When you and I come to Mass, the first thing that we do, hopefully, is we dip our hands into holy water to remember our baptism, and then we sign ourselves with the cross in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We do it instinctually. Sometimes we do it really fast without even thinking about it, but when we are doing that, we are acknowledging the symbol of our salvation, that Jesus died on the cross for us, but we are also acknowledging that we are in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, that we are already in heavenly places with our God by faith. Jesus says, I will be with you always until the end of the age. And that's not just from a distance. It's not just from a distance that he lives on the inside of us, that we have been invited into the divine life of God, that when you are going through the trials of this life, when you are faced with those questions that need answers, and sometimes they don't come, remember that you are in the Father, you are in the Son, and in the Holy Spirit. What a wonderful time as we exit the Easter season that we take a step back and reflect on the totality of our faith. We believe in the Trinity. We do believe in one God who has revealed himself as three persons to make room for us in the middle.